I'm Ashley with Telltale TV. Uh, thank you guys both so much for taking the time to talk to me today. I'm so excited for season two of this show. And from the looks of the trailer, we have a whole lot to look forward to this season. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kyler, let's start with you. Uh, we know that Kat is going to be time traveling to a, a different uh, different time period this season. Tell me a little bit about what it's like for Kat to be in the 1800s. It's it, very eye-opening, I will say. It's an incredible journey for her in the 1800s to really come to understand the Landry origins. And by not by default. Well, I guess, yeah, she kind of learns the um, Augustine origins as well. So it's like watching, she gets to see Port Haven being built, really genuinely built from the ground up. And she sees the very first version of their house, of what it looked like all those years ago, 1814. It was like, it, it depended on what part of, um, I guess, the world that you lived in just as far as not walking around in those pretty, like the little pretty canes and the beautiful hats and like the, you know, it, it was not that, <laughs> it was like a pitchfork and potatoes. And so it it was just a very, uh, a much grittier version of what Kat ever thought that it would be. And so while she's there, she has all these mysteries that are coming up and people that she didn't know and learning who her, you know, great, great grandfather was and, and how all these choices that were made then really what it looks like as she journeys through and how it presents itself in the present. And where is the Jacob of it all? Because, you know, that's got to be it's got to be in there. Right. Because she says that when we see her as the white witch, she says, you know, Jacob, I'll be back for you. So whatever that looks like, she has a heck of a time trying to figure that out. It must be really fun to be able to play in that time period, too. Right. I mean, what was that like for you? Oh, I loved it. I loved absolutely every part of it. Um, I mean, even just from like the set design to uh, the actual world that we created, some of these sets like were our, our yeah, our I'm designers sure. are just spectacular. There is they spare no expense expense, right? Yeah, expense. Um, I always look to you just to make sure I'm not sounding ridiculous. Yeah, she sounds great. Uh, thanks. I almost went to adjust my glasses. Anyway, um, <laughs> it was wonderful. I mean, even down to the lighting that we did, we made it different. And we wanted there to be a a, a bit of a unknown feeling where you weren't quite comfortable. And so we didn't want to make it where it's like scary or anything like that. We just wanted to make it like as real and raw as possible. Um, and so it's not going to be something that is all all pretty with a nice little bow and 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 whatnot. And, well, the show isn't like that anyway, but uh, it's definitely um, quite eye opening. And our cast that comes in on in the 1800s, they're Stellar. phenomenal. We have so many wonderful people that that are going to be part of the story and the, the audience is just going to absolutely fall in love with even more people. So it's kind of like, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. you know. In that sense. <laughs> Um, and then Evan, for you, where we left off uh, last season with Elliot was him saying, you know, I'm going to kind of take control of my life now that I don't know, don't know everything that's coming. So what does that look like for him this season? Well, it was a big choice for him to make. And it was a choice that wasn't necessarily popular with Kat or with some audience members. And so uh, I think that in season two, we see Elliot wrestling with what the true ramifications of that choice were, and maybe realizing that that's not a choice that one can make in one point in time and be done with it, that it actually requires a journey which might be uncomfortable and might require some real introspection. And through that introspection, we learn more about Elliot both as a 16-year-old and as an adult. And I'm hoping that with Elliot's trajectory towards truly learning how to love and accept himself, he will be able to present a truer version for Kat. Mm -hmm and uh, that maybe their love will have a chance. And I think audiences will be there for it because they wanna see the nuance of, of a relationship that doesn't have just an easy answer because in real life, relationships don't have easy answers. They're ongoing. And uh, that's the kind of storytelling we wanna do in this show. Storytelling that has narrative heft and has stakes and uh, has the equivalent rewards. The meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes. He said steaks. <laughs> Yes. Um, awesome. Well, I'm very excited to see it. I know that audiences are really excited. So thank you again both so much for taking the time. I appreciate it. Really Thanks appreciate so it.